Hi everybody, I'm doing a five minute mini session with Johannes today. So I'm gonna be sharing energy work and wisdom. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and then I'm gonna be getting started. All right, says, I had very intense shifts in my experience during the last few days and realized many things. One being that somehow I've developed some kind of resistance to working psychically. Okay, can you figure out why that is and also do some energy work update on the current state of my energy field? All right. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and relax here and get connected. All right, so I'm walking into your energy field and there should be more tangibility here. It, it feels like it's missing some solidity. <laughs> so I'm kind of, I'm touching air, but it's not air, but it feels like air. It feels like I'm sort of waving my hand into nothing, but there's something, some sort of material here. Um, and there's also the feeling that it lacks solidity. So... It's also kind of an odd fog developing and it's got like green, a greenish hue to it. And I keep saying, where's Johannes? Where's Johannes at? Where's Johannes? Hmm. All right, the next image is a bit strange. I see myself, all right, so here's a skeleton. And let's say where the pelvis, the hip bones are, there's like a floor or ground. And I'm walking around and around the spinal column and I'm sort of looking around, looking around, and there's nothing here, there's no organs or anything. Um, there's just bones and this strange sort of greenish, this developing kind of green f fog. Um, there's something unhealthy about it, okay? Um, but I still don't know a whole lot yet. All right. So something is missing on the inside is what I hear. We're walking around trying to find what is missing on the inside. Hmm. And I keep uh, trying to get into your mental body, but it's almost like it doesn't want me to come into it. But I am going to go into it. I wonder why it's almost like you put like a lock, like a padlock on it. And I don't, I'm wondering why. I'm going to ask the mental body, why, why is there a padlock here? Why am I not allowed to just freely come in and hang out? Now, what's with the not, you know, feeling like something is missing on the inside? What's with that? What's with this green fog? Hmm. It has something to do with... All right, so I know in other sessions we've talked about how do you overcome your mind, um, kind of um, altering. So we're on the pathway of working with our heart, right? And our heart will allow us to sense what is a, a mind-based kind of idea that's getting intermixed in with the psychic experience. So how to kind of override that, um, how to get you working in your heart. So something happened here where you're working with your heart and your mind's like, well, he's not wanting to work with me anymore. So, or it's like, you put the padlock, like I'm not working with my mind anymore. And so now your mind is shut down. <laughs> and so that's the, that's what's going on here. <laughs> so I'm telling your energy field that we're gonna let go of being too extreme and we're not going to just lock the door on the third eye and the crown chakra here. We're going to open this up because we do need access to those 
wisdoms as well. You, you have a total argument going on. Um, third eye is arguing with heart. And there's a, there's a bit of a like brother, sister, choral kind of thing going on here. And there's a bit of a childish behavior. Like, well, if you don't want me more than fine, I'm just going to just lock the door and you're never going to have access to me ever again. And then you're going to see why I matter. <laughs> and that's your third eye and crown, like having like a, a little like, baby fest <laughs> like a cry baby fest <laughs> so let's see so i'm just relaxing both sides down so they can come into balance with each other because both sides feel a bit jumbled up especially mental body is like totally um out like going crazy here but heart is just sort of is a bit confused on how to respond or how to react. It's not necessarily confused, but it's this this isn't resolving. So we're just going to relax them both down and and just get them harmonizing again. Now I'm starting to see a little bit more here. As I'm going into third eye crown area, it's hiding something. So, and what it, I see it as like, it looks like a oblong, um, bluish colored, you know, oval shaped like bird's egg or a blue colored rock, but it's baby blue. It's baby blue colored and it's in your mind. And that's what, you're hiding something and that's the image that comes to me. But let's figure out what this is here. Mental body wants me to, um, it wants to watch how long it will take before I figure out what this is. And it's sort of like smiling and la like kind of internally laughing like she's never going to figure it out. <laughs> hmm. Obviously, we're kind of short on time. So let's just see. Let's just see what might potentially come to me here. I don't know why I just I draw a like a cross on the actual rock. It's like a Jesus like I Jesus's cross. Like I just draw a cross on the rock. I just do that and I tell your mental body that's all I had to do was just that. And mental body is angry because I'm supposed to be figuring things out. I'm not just supposed to just you know, something was inspired and I just drew a cross and now I'll, I know everything I need to know about this rock. It's pissed. It's totally pissed off about this. It says, you don't have a right to walk in here and then decide that this rock just needs a cross on it and then leave. You're supposed to stand here for the next 10 years and try to figure out what this rock means. How dare you? And it's like, I don't have to figure out anything. All I have to do is follow the inspiration within myself and then the inspiration just tells me what to do and then I do that thing and then the inspiration tells me there's nothing else I need to do so then I just do that thing. So I just followed my heart. <sighs> Mental body is kind of sad and not so much angry anymore. This feels um, sad. <sighs> it feels uh, unloved. but it remembers working with the heart and the inspiration that comes from within and how the inspiration that comes from within helps to neutralize the demand of the mental body. We can't shut it out. We have to just work, work with it, harmonize with it. And the mental body loves the inspirations that come from within the heart. It does. It forgot what that felt like. And I say, why are you setting a trap here? That's when you need to connect with your emotions and ask yourself, is this really what I want to get out of life? Trapping myself for the next 10 years just to prove some ridiculous point that isn't proving anything at all actually is sad. Mental body is starting to understand the value of the other energy bodies. And why it's important that we work with the heart and the emotions too. 
And I will say your energy is shifted in a really great way. Your mental body is opened up and is uh, a lot more relaxed, like way more relaxed. The heart and the emotions are, sh are you know, having more of a sound and more value to them uh, and things are starting to feel better, okay? So this is going to help you. <laughs> You're going to feel like you have found what is missing inside yourself was rebalancing this. <laughs> okay, no more green smogs, no more none of that. <laughs> We're good. We're totally good now. <laughs> All right, Johannes, thank you so much. I, I'm, I know that this short session is going to help. So... Um, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, I hope you all have a great day.